Hello students, today we will study unit number 2 AC circuits in which we are going to understand the most important topic which is your important terms which are used in three phase AC circuits. So that video is very much important regarding to upcoming videos which are based on three phase star connection, three phase delta connections. So in this video, if you are able to understand properly, then only it is possible for you to understand the upcoming videos based on three phase star and three phase delta connections. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. So, in this video, basically we are going to understand the definitions which are based on three phase AC circuit. So, on the board, to understand the definitions, one three phase star collection I have drawn. So, in which that point is known as a neutral point. Over here, supposing that phase is known as R phase, that will be your Y phase and that will be B phase. Now that R, Y and B, all phases are connected with line conductors. So this is one line conductor, second line conductor and third line conductor. Or you can say that is your line 1, line 2 or line 3. Okay. Now R phase is given to the load. Then that is your neutral. That is Y phase and that is B phase. So that is basically three phase generator which is producing the current and given to the load system. Okay. Now first definition phase voltage means what? So the voltage measured between line and neutral of supply and that is denoted by E. So that is the voltage. Phase voltage is measured between what? Line and neutral. Between line and neutral. So we will try to write. So as I told you that is first line and that is neutral. So I can draw like this. That is your line and neutral. Which line? R line. So denotion, denotation is what? E. So I will write E R line with neutral. Okay. Next is this. So with line and neutral. So that is line and neutral. Which line? Y. So it will be your E Y neutral N. Again, next is between line and neutral. So, over here I will draw. That is line and neutral. So, I will write which line? It is the B and neutral. And so, E, B, N. Okay. So, that thing you should remember properly. Next is, uh, oh, sorry, that same voltage, phase voltage you can represent over here also. Here you can write E, R, N also. Phase voltage. Why? Because between these two terminals, Whatever potential is there, that is your phase voltage and that phase voltage is measured between these two terminal E, R and similarly between these two terminal, whatever voltage is measured, that is phase voltage. So you can see between that two terminal phase voltage is E, Y, N. So over here I, we can write E, Y, N. Okay, but little bit over here I will write E, Y, N. And, and similarly, between these two terminals, between these two terminals, whatever voltage is there, that is phase voltage. So same thing you can write E, B, N also. So two types of representations are there. Either you can represent over here or directly on the phase. Okay. Next is line voltage. Line voltage means what? The voltage measured between any two lines of supply, which is denoted by V. So measured between two lines, measured between two lines. So that is your line one, line two. So I will draw like this, line one, line two. So that will be your V, R, Y. Okay, R to Y, then between two lines, Y to B, V, Y, B. Okay, then B to R, then B to R, B, V, B, R. You cannot write V, R, B. Why? Because we know one diagram, phasor diagram, that is R, that will be Y and that will be B. First, what we have written? First one, we have written R, Y. So, R to Y, that is your positive direction, V, R, Y. So, V, R, Y, very high. Okay, V, R, Y. Then, Y to B, Y, B. Y to B, that is positive direction. 
V Y B. Then B to R we are going. Then B to R we are going. So B to R V B R. You can write which is equals to minus V R B. But over here you cannot write R B. Okay. That is the positive direction. So we have to follow this order. Next is phase current. Now phase current means what? Current flowing in each phase winding. So that is your each phase winding. So over here current flow in each phase winding which one? I R. That is each phase winding current is flowing. I Y. That is current flowing in each phase winding. That is your I B. That is known as phase current. Okay. Line current means what? Current flowing in each line. So that is your first line. So which current will flow? That is your acha denoted by what? I L. So I will write I L 1. Okay. Next is uh, each line. Means that is your second line, so I L two. That is third line, so that is I L three. So now I am sure that that four definitions are clear to you. So we will move on with the next. Next is balance system. So first we'll read and then you'll understand that it is one in which voltages in all phases are equal in magnitude that means er ey eb will be same will be same and are displaced from one another by equal angles which is 120 degree now up to that one sentence we'll try to understand that uh, equal in magnitude and at a equal phases so over here first i will draw that is suppose er phase that is ey phase and that is eb phase so balance system means what that Whatever voltages are there, whatever voltages are there in each phase, they are equal. So magnitudes are equal, magnitudes are equal and all the phases are displaced by equal angles. That means over here I will say 120 degree, over here also 120, over here also 120 degree. Okay, that means magnitude are equal and all angles are equal. That is known as balance system. But wait, another condition is also that, that also currents in these phases are equal in magnitude. That means current is also there. So magnitude of current is also equal and are displaced by equal angles. Now we'll show the current. So in R phase, I will show the current like this. That is your suppose I R. Okay. Now you will say that why I have drawn I R current lagging behind voltage because we know that in three phase system current is induced how by using the coil coil means what it is inductor and inductor in pure inductive circuit we know very well that current lags behind the potential by phi that you know very well that's why lags behind the potential by phi again ey current lags behind the potential by phi so that will be your iy and again current lags behind the potential by phi so that will be your i b okay so equal in magnitude i b is equals to i r is equals to i y and uh, r displaced at equal angle so that angle is also equal that i angle is also equal okay it is also 120 degree 120 degree so that is the condition of balance system so balance condition system means what such type of system in which potential in all phases are equal and are displaced at an equal angle also current having a current which is produced in all phases are equal in magnitude and uh, displaced at an equal angle okay now balance load means what that it is one in which the loads in all phases are equal in magnitude and having equal phases means what that it is one system one in which loads in all phases load means what supposing you can consider motor three phase motor three phase motor in three phase motor what's happened three phases are there now that three phases which are present in motor that three phases having equal load means resistance of each and every winding would be same and also all three phases which are placed in load which are placed in three phase motor are displaced at equal angle so that type of uh, load is known as balanced load okay now opposite of that unbalanced load that it is one in which loads means suppose three phase motor you are giving the three phase whatever generator is there that is producing three phase and that three phase you are given to the uh, three phase motor to or to the load and that load having which type of thing different magnitude whatever phases are there in this motor 
it has also three phase all the three phases are different in magnitude and uh, having different phases that means in balanced load phase is what 120 degree each but over here phase is different that means 60 then 180 like that so that is all about balanced and unbalanced and balanced system so these are all the basic terms which are very much useful to understand the three phase ac circuit so now I would like to end this video. Once again, we will meet in a new video with a new topic. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.